Welcome to the workshop. Don't scrape up mom's bike at all, okay? Just pretend. Don't, don't grab anything on the bike. We had a cold snap sneak up on us and I've got to get the RV winterized so that we don't have any water freeze in our lines. And I don't want to use antifreeze because it's going to be 60 degrees tomorrow. We might go camping the weekend after. So what I need to do is blow it out with air. There are a ton of great YouTube videos on how to do this. If you, I'm not going to cover it in depth. Uh, if you search for winterized RV without antifreeze or with air compressor, you'll find some really in-depth stuff there. Plus, we have a really simple RV. It's probably different for yours. But the biggest thing um, that's missing in all those videos, you can order a valve to do this, to hook up your city water inlet to uh, an air compressor. You can get them on Amazon, but I checked the weather today, like, oh crap, it's going to freeze tonight. I don't have time to Amazon it. Um, you can build these, and I'm going to attempt to do that and walk you through it. It should be pretty straightforward. So I bought two things to do this. First was just this air tool accessory kit because um, I needed a coupler for my hose, and I also needed these uh, male adapters to a quick coupler. So this is what uh, I'm going to hook the hose up to to hook it up to the RV. And then I bought two of these um, iron bushings. And so this size is, I think, 3 8 inch, which will fit a uh, hose, water hose, uh, which means it'll fit into our city water hookup. And then this adapts that down to a quarter inch here, which this will adapt into. And so you plug those three things together, and we should have a way to hook up an air hose directly to our water inlet. I don't know about that, kiddo. Boy, I made that a lot harder than it had to be. I just want to get this in there pretty far. I'm using my soft jaws for this, which is probably not a great idea. That's probably good. I'm not going for water tight here. Nine sixteenths. Have a wiener. What are you doing, Dad? I'm making a blowout valve for our RV. Why are you using that blue thing? So that ought to do it. The idea here is that this fits into the city water inlet um, and then we click a hose onto it and we can blow air through all the lines and that will clear all the water out of the lines in the RV. Moment of truth. Let's do the quick couple. I mean, maybe it's a tiny bit leaky, but it's not going to matter. This doesn't need to be an airtight thing. Seems fit. Ta da! So our gray tank was emptied at the end of our last trip, but I do have the hose hooked up and that way it's a lot easier than draining the hot water tank. I'm just going to, I've got the valve open and see there's nothing coming out and I can just blow everything through and down the drains and it'll just run out. It's just the water sitting in the lines here, so it will be pretty clean and safe. So I'm going to try and get my pressure regulator set to about 35, 40 PSI, which should be safe for the water system. All right, so Paige is in the RV. The hot water valve is open. As soon as I put this on, it should start pressurizing the system. Is it going? Yeah. There it goes. That should be enough. We just need it to be enough that it like, you know, there's room for it to expand in the line. It's working. I think we're done. So that ended up working pretty well. You know, I think all in each of these hex bushings were a dollar fifty or two dollars. And then I bought a kit that had a bunch of these um, fittings for the for the air hose for the compressor. But you can get the individual ones for I don't know two bucks. So maybe for six dollars, the one on Amazon was twenty bucks. 
and I needed one tonight, so I made one for six dollars. And I had a little bit of air leakage around here, so I might just retape this and see if I can get it to cinch up a little tighter. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, you're spilling your milk, dude. Six bucks versus twenty, and I got one tonight. If you're at all concerned about getting the right sizes, I know I was. I went to Home Depot instead of ordering online, um, and just went and picked them out, made sure they screwed together. They have these little valves unwrapped in a little container that you can try them. And then I went to a water hose and made sure it fit the end of a water hose because that's a water hose connection. Everything fit up. That's how I knew my dimensions were right. Problem solved. So no travel video this week. Casey has been keeping up with winterizing the RV for us, which is amazing. And our next video will be a travel video of us in the Mark Twain National Forest next week these kind of like repair and shop videos aren't what we always do uh, we do travel vlogs we also did an entire renovation series on uh, our rv here yeah if you liked this video you probably would love to go back and see the whole renovation true story I think. and then we also do mostly travel vlogs these days so if you're into that you should subscribe if you're not already a subscriber give us a like no if a you're a subscriber up. you should give us a like too but give likes. What is it called? A, a like? Li yeah. A thumbs up. Like with the little thumbs up button. Dopamine. To our family and friends who text us, please comment here on this video. Good call. Yeah. Because your texts are lovely. To all the moms. But they do nothing to the algorithm. <laughs> We've got yeah. an algorithm to beat. Yeah.